Global Dine, who would tie the bell on the old cat's tail? Global Dine is accelerating from rising atmospheric CO2. We have crossed the tipping point because Mother Nature's God's accountant on Earth has become a competing CO2 center with escalating mojo. We have passed the critical mass and are now in an environmental meltdown. In 2010 we probably crossed the recovery point, that is the point of no return. After we fall into the abyss it is Bokyag time. We are all on death row from global dying. The only hope is a global Manhattan project to do what needs to be done. We need a Manhattan project to save life on earth which is the primary moral imperative. Who will do what needs to be done? Who will tie the bear on the cat's tail to inform the mice that the big fat cat of global dying is killing them? Unfortunately the required sacrifices will require all people to give up many I can't live without. Detiming unneeded once will prompt violent reactions towards the sacrifice managers. The latter will tie the bear on the cat's tail, forcing people to be informed of and responsive to global dying. Contra to the bear hangers will be many deniers of global dying. Rather than the work and risk of informing us, of the needed work, there are many players entertaining us to death rather than educating us to live. The bell ringers will have to compete with many false hopes on how to reverse global dying. False hopers will proclaim we don't need to sacrifice to avoid suffering and death. By 2015, 90 percent of humanity will be dead from the collapse of the food chain as global dying destroys croplands from record droughts deluges, heat, and cold. Whether life on Earth survives depends on whether depopulation is controlled or chaotic. Only controlled depopulation can save life on Earth. And what will the deniers and players say to the bear hangers? Of course, some deniers and jokers will have a cute comment for unpopular depopulationists. Oh well. The habitual politicians addicted to re-election will not tie the bell on the cat's tail. They'll kick a can at the cat, thinking they can scare it down the road. The number one hidden weapon of mass destruction is the human genitalia. Instead of tying a bell on this cat's tail to stop global dying, many will opt for more kitty litters and more cats. Ironically and tragically, the Republican winners of the U.S. 2010 election are organizing to overturn Wade versus Road on the claim of defending life. Yet, these appropriately named rich pubes, Republicans, do not do the crater-to-grave analysis to recognize that overpopulation is the ticking time bomb killing all life on Earth. In actuality, the pro mentality is anti-life. Even when the bear is tied on the pro tail, they will not hear the ring of doom. The cost of humanity has two parts. The cost of living, which is the objective necessities for life, and the cost of lying, which comprises the subjective wants for waste. Controlled depopulation requires retiming our economic engine for needed goods and services at a lower CO2 sinning cost. Reducing CO2 sinning requires detiming or deflating all once based on how we lie to ourselves. It won't be pretty to tie this bell on human tails. Obsessed with pork politics for re-elections, the habitual politicians will not do what needs to be done? Thus the question is begged. Who would tie the bear on the cat's tail to save life on earth?